hi today in this video we'll talk about correct coefficient of correlation so what we are saying is that at the time of computing the correlation we have picked up a wrong data kabhi kabhi hota hai ki hum jaise hum exam ke time pe question paper se apne exam sheet pe kabhi kabhi galat values note kar lete hain usi tarike se there has been some mistake jiski wajah se humne wrong coefficient of correlation compute kiya hai ab hame usko correct karna hai right to iske liye na hum seedha example pe baat karenge now we'll directly move on to the example to understand and see what we are doing coefficient of correlation between x and y for 20 items is 0.3 matlab coefficient of correlation r is equal to 0.3 and n is equal to 20 hum data this sahi ke hum har bar example solve karte hain hum data likhte jaate hain waise hi hum karenge aaj bhi mean of x is 15 y bar y is 20 वाइल्ड स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन आर फोर एंड फाइव रिस्पेक्टिवली क्योंकि रिस्पेक्टिवली वर्ड लिखा है इसका मतलब पहले जिसकी मीन की बात हुई है अभी भी उसी के स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन की बात हो रही है तो स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर एंड स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव अब हम क्या कह रहे हैं एट द टाइम ऑफ कैलकुलेशन वन आइटम ट्वेंटी सेवन हैज रॉन्गली बीन टेकन एज सेवेंटीन सो ऐसे लिखते हैं करेक्ट वैल्यू एंड incorrect value right for x and y okay so we have what we have done is correct one item 27 wrongly taken as 17 means wrong was 17 correct is 27 and 35 instead of 30 means 30 is the correct one And thirty-five is the wrong one. This is the wrong, correct and incorrect data that we have taken. And now we need to correct this and find the correct coefficient of correlation without having the actual data, right? So how will we do it? So in order to find the correct coefficient of correlation, first of all, just tell me what all things we need. What is the formula for correlation coefficient? So it is simply n summation x y minus summation x into summation y. upon square root of n summation x square minus summation x whole square similarly into n summation y square minus summation y square right so this is the formula so in order to do this what all information do we require we need a correct summation x a correct summation y a correct summation x square correct summation y square and correct summation xy because observation number of observations is already given that it is already correct right okay we need all of this now so in order to find these we need to use this data in order to find these values so let's start with summation x so from where can we compute the wrong summation x from x bar right okay so we knew that x bar is equal to 15 we know summation x upon n is equal to 15 this implies summation x upon 20 is equal to 15 so this means summation x is equal to 15 into 20 which is equal to 300 but is this correct no it's incorrect so in order to find correct summation x we need to add wrong add correct value that is 27 and subtract wrong value that is 17 why we are doing it because simply summation x na we are adding the x value so we'll simply subtract the wrong value 17 and add the correct value this becomes 3 10 so this is our correct summation x so whatever correct data we are computing we'll simply write over here summation x is equal to 3 10 that is correct summation x right okay next we'll talk about now summation y so correct summation y we need to compute we know y by is equal to 20 right so this means summation y upon n is equal to 20 right so summation y is equal to 400 20 into 20 now correct summation y is 400 Plus the correct value. What is the correct value? Thirty minus thirty-five. 
so this becomes 395 so we have also computed the correct summation y that is 395 we have already covered this and this next is summation x square from this above data what do you think from where can we go to summation x square we can read summation x square using the wrong standard deviation and wrong variances right standard deviation we have variance is simply the square of a standard deviation okay so we know standard deviation of x is simply equal to 4 so from here can we say variance of x is equal to 16 right we have simply squared it up okay now this variance of x is equal to summation x square upon n minus x bar square right so let's summation variance of x is 16 plus x bar this into n is equal to summation x square yes or no right okay so n is 20 16 plus x bar incorrect x bar because we have worked this entire calculation on incorrect things so we will be using in order to find more values we will be using all the incorrect things only so x bar was 15 x bar square this is 15 square so summation x square is equal to 20 into 16 plus 2 to 5 right so this incorrect summation x square is 4820 this is incorrect now in order to correct it up some correct summation x square is equal to simply 4820 minus the incorrect one incorrect is 17 so 17 square plus the correct one 27 square right this is equal to 4820 minus 289 plus 729 and this becomes 5260 so from here we got our correct summation x square now let's talk about variance of y we know standard deviation of y is equal to 5 given to us from here variance of y is 25 now Variance of y is again equal to summation y square upon n minus y bar square. So this becomes, let's simply put in the value of variance of y that is 16. So sorry, 25. 25 plus y bar square into n is equal to summation y square, the incorrect one. So now this is 25 plus what was the incorrect y bar? From here if we check it's 20 so 20 square is 400 and this multiplied by 20 is equal to summation y square. So 400 plus 25 is 425 into 20 is simply 8500 so this is the incorrect summation y square but now we need is a correct summation y square. So what will we do is 8500 minus the wrong value what was the wrong value or incorrect value for y it was 35 so minus 35 square plus correct is 30 square 30 square this is equal to 8500 minus 1225 plus 900 right so this correct one is equal to 8175 this is the correct summation y square. Now again we will write the correct information that we have already computed. So correct summation x square is equal to 5260 and summation y square is equal to 8175. Now next what else do we need? We need summation x square. From where can we get summation x square? We can get summation x square using the correlation formula. How? Let's see. We know that R is equal to covariance of xy upon n. R is 0 0.3 given in the question and covariance of xy upon 20. Yes or no? So now covariance of xy is simply equal to 20 into 0 0.3. This is equal to 6. We also know what is covariance of xy. Covariance of xy summation xy upon n. 
minus x bar into y bar this is equal to 6 now this is all incorrect data now so summation x y upon n is equal to 6 plus x bar into y bar what was the incorrect x bar and y bar 15 and 20 15 into 20 so now summation x y is equal to 6 plus 300 into 20 so summation x y is equal to 306 into 20 that is 6120 but this is incorrect what do we need we need correct x y right so correct x y is simply equal to 6120 minus wrong x y what was wrong into uh, wrong x into y so see from here wrong x into wrong y means 20, 17 into 35 minus 17 multiplied by 35 plus the correct data that is 27 into 30. So this becomes 6120 minus 17 to 35 plus 27 into 30. I am just writing out the answer direct 6335 since I have already computed it up. Now we have got all the data. So I am writing down all the correct data over here just so that we can starting to find out the exact or correct correlation coefficient. Now this has everything that we have already discussed. We have already computed this correct data, right? And this is the formula that we have talked about initially from where we saw that we need to collect all these parameters, right? So this is this formula. So now I'm just fetching in the values and finding the correct coefficient of correlation. So this becomes 20 into summation x is 6335 minus summation x summation y is 310 into 395 upon n is square root of 20 into n uh, into summation x square summation x square is 5260 minus summation x that is 310 square square root of n is 20 summation y square is 8175 minus summation y that is 395 square so now these calculations i've already done so i'm just uh, moving like i'm just putting in the value so that you can tally it step by step this will become 1, 2, 6, 7, double, 0, minus 1, 2, 2, 4, 5, 0, upon square root of 1, 0, 5, 2, double, 0, minus 9, 6, 1, double, 0, into 1, 6, 3, 5, double, 0, minus 1, 5, 6, 0, 2, 5. Right, this becomes 4250 upon square root of 9100 into square root of 7475, and this is equal to 4250 upon 8247.58, and this is equal to Zero point five one five, right? So this is how we compute the correct coefficient of correlation. I hope you like this video. Do subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you.